welcome, this is Eridite Gamer, and you are watching an unusual video by me. Now, those keen-eyed among you notice that this is scum. This is not a scum video. This is just something for you guys to watch while I explain what's going on. Because who wants to see a black screen and just hear audio? The reason why it showed scum is because this is the last time that I will be able to play it until they decide that they're going to support Linux, which is foreshadowing to what this video is about. So we all know that Windows 10 as has reached end of life. Now I had the option of extending Windows 10 if I basically give Microsoft a way to sell my data. Because I've been a local profile user of Windows for as long as I can remember. I'm not interested in Windows stealing my data and selling it which is probably how they managed to get their company valuation up. I'm not interested in Copilot, which is going to spy on you 24-7. I'm not interested in the TPM chip, which is going to directly link what I do to my machine for Microsoft. So, uh, instead of dealing a whole shit ton of spyware, and instead of dealing with Microsoft's greed and complete lack of morals, I'm going to switch to Linux. Now, this process was a, required a lot of research and a little bit of a pain. So I've got an NVIDIA's graphics card. I've got an RTX 3080, the 12 gigabyte VRAM edition. Now, most people know and understand that if they've even looked into Linux, Linux doesn't usually play well with NVIDIA. NVIDIA does not like that Linux users can look in and see what's going on. Uh, they, they fiercely defend their proprietary bullshit, right? They don't want people to be able to reverse engineer whatever their fears are. I really don't care. They just don't support Linux very well. Well, I have an NVIDIA graphics card. So that told me that... I was going to have a little bit of a time trying to figure out which distro to choose. So using the parameter for an NVIDIA, G uh, NVIDIA graphics card as the primary mode, because I just do not have the money to replace a graphics card, I decided that between Ubuntu, Pop! OS, and Linux Mint as my main contenders. Well, after doing research, it looks like, as a Windows user, my best bet is Linux Mint. But everybody says that Linux Mint or uh, Pop OS is better for gamers and better for NVIDIA graphics cards users. Well, crap. I okay, I eliminated a third of my options, so I did some more digging and I found out that the only real difference when it comes to NVIDIA graphics card is you have one extra step with Linux Mint. Pop OS, they automatically install the drivers. Linux Mint, you have to do it yourself. Well, shit, that's not that big a deal. 
but with the major can uh the major driving force of my my decision being resolved I then had to decide between Pop OS and Linux Mint. Well, Linux Mint is a distribution that is really easy to get into if you're coming directly from Windows. That's what they tout, that's what everybody seems to say, so I'm believing everybody. They're move, switching operating systems moving OS's, however you want to state it, is a massive undertaking. It's just... The reason I'm making this video is because things might happen. I've done my best to grab save data. I've done my best to grab mods and... I've done my best to figure out everything that I'm going to need to grab and store off location for this migration. Are there going to be hiccups? Probably. I have determined that 90% of my workflow is going to pretty much stay the same because I use DaVinci Resolve and I use OBS. So there might be audio issues, there might be microphone issues, there, there's a bunch of stuff that could happen that I cannot predict and I cannot um, plan for. So there may be growing pains in the videos, uh, the upcoming videos. This video is to basically explain why and basically apologize ahead of time. I wanted to make this video while I was still, while I still had windows and I still had confidence that everything was going to work because everything has been working. Here in minutes to an hour maybe I cannot guarantee that so this is basically a forewarning that stuff is going to change uh, it's not something I really can avoid because of how Windows is doing it and my core values so, I mean, grim. Uh, so, this is just explaining everything to you guys. Um, and to give me one last shot at playing scum before I can't anymore. So, thank you guys for watching. Stay curious, and I will talk to you all later.